Okay, let me see if I'll mess this up for you guys. This will be the explanation showing how the load path goes with the structure. This is the bridge that we'll go on top of. But uh, two, year, two years, two weeks ago, I gave you a little hint with this uh, video here. I put up on January 15th. If you guys know how I present, as I state, I like playing uh, dumb a little bit. I give enough data, um, load a video up that was pointing your direction back to that other video, and then loading this one up. And I put, I put I even put the video up where the one guy says, it's a how bridge. And it's not a how bridge. But um, let's have a little fun now with this tying it into the uh, this gate. I call this gate a fence, I think, in the beginning. Trying to troll someone in. Did not work. Um, nevertheless, look at the structure. Uh, there's two there's two layers here, but let's look at this structure. These are the tie downs, so what you're looking at is equivalent right here of of uh, these plates here. See the uh, that's the equivalent of those connections there. Let me get back to it. Where'd you go? Third one over. Okay. So I talk about let's get this volume up on this one and play it. Oh tension and cables. So how, looking at the system, how do you know what's active or not? Well, it does have a glide that's on it, so all you do is simply grab each cable. That's taut. That one's sloppy loose. So this is your tension side. Next one, loose. Tension side. Alright, let's jump forward to here. This one's in tension. So that one is there in tension. Tension. Okay, we got loose. Loose. No, no. I'm sorry. Let me get this right. So that's loose. So we got tension. Tension. All right. Notice how I said tension on this one and the direction it was in and tension on the other one. So this was in tension. Pulling down on the, on the, on the, uh, on the fence system. It's then grabbed by this one. Tension. Pull the back to there. Okay. So now let's do that. You can go to this video, but let's go to the reversal. These two are the are the, are the two loose ones. See loose. Oh, tension. So so the two loose ones there are where you get the reversal. Let's go to um, the bridge video. Let's okay. Let's do this. Huh. I guess I should finish that that part. Love it. So this is just a shot of the uh, the bridge um, with the with the links in it. You can see right here. It's from the other video I made. But let's go here and now look. Huh? These are tension bars, right? But they're 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 just in tension. These bars here. These two bars. They're sisters, twins, parallel around the pins that, that I predict are down there by the bottom there. There they are there. There's a little scarf on them, a little weld going across them to place them just so just so right. Um, and there's two of them, one and two. And then this has the coupling. And that's the coupling. And I'm giving a hint before I even say it. And this is the coupling. Let's turn around now. So I'm giving the hints. I'm trying to lead you to it before I even get to the data. Hopefully you'll catch on. All right, so this is this is one and two are the same. These are couplinged, as you can see here. Couplinged. And also nothing in this last bay or portal section or... Um, shit, I've got my own brain on that one. Um, again, nothing there. But the next one, here we are. Huh. This is the solid bar again, and then back to the couplings. And if I go backwards, turn around, 
we're back to the two bars. See right here? One with the couplings and couplings. And couplings. See if I can go down just a little bit. So couplings. Couplings, you can see them there. Then we come to the other end of the structure. And we have a solid bar. Solid bar to your left. Solid bar to your left again. The second one over. Second panel point uh, or bay, whatever you'd like to refer to it as. And there's another solid bar. As I turn around, I have coupling, 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 and then bar and bar. So here's that solid bar, solid bar, coupling and coupling. Going back to the uh, this video, throw them over. These are the same. This is the same layout that you're looking at, except for no solid bar is used. Besides the uh, uprights, and they just use cables everywhere. But I show you how you have uh, the the load path is such that if you load it here, it's trying to it's trying to drive down. This is this is the other side of the bridge. If you would look from. Is trying to drive down this one to resist that that, that downward force. The one alone, and it acts like a, a, a teeter totter. It can't pull. It tries to pull it back here from the support here, but it can't because this one would is loose now. But it would pull it. It would it would give it an axis to to pivot on, and it can't go anywhere. So that's intention, and this one's intention. The same thing. This if you help you, the axis helps you. If I got it free floating almost. Um, so it's this one's pulling in tension, and so is this one in tension. And so this one's driving down also, and it puts tension on this side right here, on this one. But while it's driving down, oh, wait a minute, but then that pulls down on this fence, and it puts compression in this one, and it's resisted by the downward force by this one. And remember, the other side of this is kind of sloppy. It's loose. See how loose that is? I did the, I showed you that in here. And that's one, two, well, I don't know how many bays over that is. So, how is that? That is beautiful, guys. You right, saw right. it loose. About the same. Tension. And so-so. More tension on this one. These two are the, are the, are the two loose ones. See loose? Now, what, what you, what no one commented on the videos is that this has a track and ball system, so it's somewhere uh, you, you'll run across multiple uh, reversals on here and loads, cable tensioning based on where it is hanging off of the ball, creating a cantilever, changing why these have to change so many times, why they're both uh, in that so, configuration. So, how is that? That is beautiful, guys. You so Here's your, your cantilever happening from here. Uh, a little cantilever on the very end, another bar, another support section here. So the this whole fence wants to try it. Roll, it stays on the bar, but the fence itself wants to sag and do its own thing. The sagging is resisted by the cables. That's a, a huge span, and sagging would take place. It's resisted by the cables. Uh, tension is loose. You can see the how loose it is. And it's dead load we're talking about here. We're not talking about it's loose. Hey, what's up? What's up, boy? Loose. See the second section behind it. It's a dead load we're talking about here, not not a uh, a live load that's created on these joints. It's just a dead load. And then here's the tension. So there, this is the structure side of that one. Tying across on the back side is the uh, the uh, do not enter side of the structure. As you can see, these cross members here really put the loads further on that um, base. You can see it right here. See the cross members. Um, in the back fence there but this front is all I cared to show you about I didn't want to really distract you with the with with, with the other part so back to our little beautiful structure here and going to the outside of it um, this one is your tension member it's pulling as loads are going down this one pulls back up it's, it's pull is restraining it and it's being met at this uh, point where the steel is going down into the ground back here. 
So there's your little triangle right there. So if it was just this piece alone, here's your triangle. Um, it can't fall over because this one would be pulling it, but it's restrained too. So now let's look at, I like the word restrained for this. So let's go back to, um, this is that, this would be solid bar, solid bar. And here are your, just your cables, two directions with couplings on them. And then this is solid bar and solid bar. Remember the chain link I said I've talked about in the other video. The chain link is equivalent to the bottom rail of this structure right here. The bottom rail, the chain link, the eye bars, but allows for flexibility of the bridge to move a little bit. Now, this would not allow for flexibility, uh, you know, a little bit of flexing, but not what's needed for the structure for uh, 40, almost 46 tons is rated for. This structure still left its rating up, and the I bars are there. The I bars. Mm. So we're on the bridge now, obviously. And you see the solid bars. I'm trying to think if I can do it from here. So as this is being pushed down, right, the dead load of the structure, it's being resisted by this one, holding it. It's 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 fixed in place, if you will. So it can't just pull it over towards us. There's some there's some stresses doing that, trying to pull it over this way too. But it, it's 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 resolved with a greater equilibrium equilibrium of not being able to pull itself out of the pin. And the forces are still trying to drive down this member here. It's captured inside the, the nodal area here and resisted back to here, which then is resisted back to the, to the base of the steel, which is tied into the eye bar, which is also tied um, eye, bar, uh, eye bar system, which is also tied to the land somehow. I don't have any images of that. Oops, wrong side of the bridge. Let's come here. Let's rotate. I wish I could find something on that co that connection for the eye bars. Eye bar, eye bar, eye bar. All right. So there's the eye bars. Let's go in there again. There are your eye bars again. So our loads are going. Let's just put a load down, a downward force there off of this joint here. You can put a concentrated load right there. If you try to pull it down, the chain. It's so taut, it can't go. That takes care of the bottom, if you will. This also is redundant by pulling back on, back up to here and back down. Same thing, you put a load here, it tries to drive it down. This bar grabs it, puts it up to here. It's trying to drive it back down within the compression there. This one pulls it back again. These two, the loads, are the, your, your, uh, your transfer loads, where they'll, they'll, um, Let's see if I to show you over here where it does reversal. The very end, I show I show it's two reversals going on here. Remember the cantilever I said? Well, here's a cantilever here, and she's flying all the way down. And there's your cantilever. But take note of this: the fence system stops there. And this cantilever changes in its way it's loading. So it becomes a, a mixture of, of, uh, of, of counter support for this fence. And also um, whether it stays on the track also. But now it also has to hold itself up. But it's, at one point this fence and its rigidity is, goes right about there somewhere. How it's still dealing with the fence. And it's, then next thing you know, it's switched over and is now dealing with the overhang. And that's what we look at when we get near the end of it. Um, we get to the end of the video, right, end of it right about here somewhere. There's a fence behind it still. The, the fence, and then there's the gate. Loose. Two, tension. Loose. There's a reversal. Tension. Loose. End of the fence right there. Tension. And now let's see if it starts reversing again. Loose. Tension. 
loose, tension, loose, tension, uh, loose, about the same, tension, and so-so, more tension on this one. These two are the... See how they stack in the background? They double this up in the background for this one and there. And so you get this weird sharing of the loads back there. Are the, are the two loose ones. Um, but let's go back to this video. So now we have this one. This is two-sided structure. Oh, my disc is almost full of saying. I... All right. Um... Let me close that. I gotta finish a video out because it's gonna um, kill the video if I don't. So hopefully you'll see that. Now you get the reversal in here as the loads come across. Let me show you the truck real quick. Ah, come on, come on, video, come on. Let, let me get the truck in there. Let me get the truck for you guys. Come on. All right, let's do it. There's your brake in the back. I'm gonna try to speed this up. The back side. Take note of the links in the front are straight. Uh, this has a little curvature in it. It's being pulled by the top. Crossbar members. Here's our breaker and link. Notice it punches down right there. That section punches down. That's probably where your break of your linkage is. Maybe the maybe this bar broke free also along with the uh, I think it did along with the uh, eye bar at the same time. A, fra a fracture maybe happened between the eye bar and that linkage. Uh, this cross member which is here. Oh, let me hurry up and get that for you. So we see it pulling the, pulling the structure over. It gets a rotation right about there. You can watch this video again. It pulls it. It pulls it over. And there's the bending of the top cord. But because it's being pulled over right there, you get the crack in it. You lose your eye bars on this side, and it just fails right about in the, in, with the load on it. Um, let's go backwards. Watch the uh, punch of it right there. Drop down. That's the eye bar failure. Again, eye bar and also maybe the uh, that tension bar that's uh, up in that bay there, that area there. And this is all straight in the background, but nevertheless, the cross members and everything else pull it across. Uh, pull the uh, this side over like a giant pry bar. Um, I wanted to show you one more thing, but I think I'm out of time. Because my disc is full on this uh, on this hard drive, and there's your rotation, and there's your failure. Break eye bar, break, and that tension bar, which is a bit of an eye bar also. So we go to the structure again. Come on, baby, let's get on here. We see it didn't break at the top. It's at the lower, lower, the load at the bottom. So I'd almost like to say it was an eye bar. And it would, um, oh, that's what it was. Hold on. Take note how this is still, um, the, how this is still standing proud. That it's not driving down. That means this bar in the back is supporting it, still driving the load here and back down. And I'm trying to hurry up and show you. So that one um, here is where we're looking at it, still proud and square. That's because the loads are still on there with that tractor trailer, and it's going to have to be pulled over. The whole structure gets pulled over by these cross members. But the failure drops on this side, and, of course, the loads shift to that side. But the uh, um, this bar is still pulling from down here and redirecting the load up to here and back down again. So... Um, there's your, 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 your proof positive of that, um, load path. You see how it's still holding it square. No, de no deformation. In fact, there's the bend from that joint from there, even though the bridge is failing. Uh, and progressively collapsing. Oh, there's a little upward drive. That's interesting. It's going to go up a little bit. So it changes, it goes, watch the, uh. How it goes up in the air a little bit. Apparently goes up. Nah, nah, nah. That's the other bridge rotating down. So that's interesting. Does it go up? Camera moves a little bit. No, I don't think it goes up. I think I'm looking. I'm just looking at the squareness of it here. It looks like it stays parallel, uh, square still. 
and I think the guy, the camp, that everything else going down shows a little differently, uh, makes it look different. But anyway, I'm investing that a little bit. But here's the uh, that that bar's intention, like I said. This bar's intention, so it's uh, it's holding that load as you load it on that joint. That's why it doesn't you don't see it go down. Being pulled back here, I got to go on this video because it's it'll kill the whole video if I don't hang up on it. It'll it'll terminate the entire recording. All right, bye guys.